Hi friends, hope you are doing great. We'll demonstrate how to SSH and VNC into the well-known single board computer known as the Raspberry Pi in this video. I will explain all the necessary steps and add all the links to the websites to the description box. Before going to this video, please like and subscribe to this channel. So let's get started and do it. Raspberry Pi is a series of small single board computers developed in the United Kingdom by the Raspberry Pi Foundation in association with Broadcom. There are three series of Raspberry Pi, and several generations of each have been released. Raspberry Pi SBCs feature a Broadcom system on a chip with an integrated ARM-compatible central processing unit and on-chip graphics processing unit GPU. Raspberry Pi 4 Model B is the latest product in the popular Raspberry Pi range of computers. This product's key features include a high-performance 64-bit quad-core processor, dual display support at resolutions, up to 4K via pair of micro HDMI ports, hardware video decode at up to 4K60, up to 4 GB of RAM, dual band 2.4 slash 5.0 GHz wireless LAN, Bluetooth 5.0, Gigabit Ethernet, USB 3.0, and PoE capability. Okay, that is enough about the Pi. Let us start to flash the Raspbian OS. Here I am using a 16 GB micro SD card for flashing the OS. For remote accessing the Pi, we need to make sure that the Pi, which means the server, and the host device, for example, our laptop should be in the same network. For that, I am using an Ethernet cable. For flashing the Raspbian of OS, head over to raspberrypi.org website and install the Raspberry Pi Imager. You can download the Imager according to your operating system. The Pi Imager is the better tool for flashing images into the Pi other than the third-party applications. After installing the imager, we need to download another set of softwares for preparing the SD card and for SSAing. As a first step, try to format your SD card. I am here using the SD card formatter application. Download link is in the description box below. Then open the Raspberry Pi imager application. Select the image that you needed to work on the Pi. Since here I am using the Raspberry Pi 4 SBC, I am selecting the 64-bit version of the Raspbian OS. 32-bit version will be a little bit mess with the Pi 4. Then choose your storage. Press the gear icon below for the initial setup. Put a password and username that you like. Here I am leaving the username as P and hostname as raspberrypi.local. You can set your desired password and username. Then press the right button. It will take some time to flash the OS. Yes, now the flashing is over and click on continue. Eject the card reader from your PC and reinsert. For activating the SSH protocol, create a blank text document with name as SSH and save it into the micro SD card. Make sure that the file name is SSH and save type as all files, then save it into the micro SD card. Remove the SD card and insert it into the Raspberry Pi. Connect the host and server devices with the Ethernet cable. Turn on the Pi and open the PuTTY application. You can download these applications from the link provided in the description box. Now in the PuTTY configuration, provide the host name as raspberryp.local and make sure that the port number is 22. Choose the connection type as SSA and click Open. This will open a command prompt. If you get any error, make sure that the connected LAN cable is identified as an unknown network in the network settings. If it's showing network identifying, please wait for some time. Now enter the username and password that you previously created. Press Enter. 
This will enable us to remotely access our Pi from a host device. If you only need to access the Raspbian terminal, you can stop here and do your work. But if you need to see the Raspbian desktop, we need to VNC into the Pi. VNC, or Virtual Network Computing, is a graphical desktop sharing system that uses the Remote Frame Buffer Protocol to remotely control another computer. It transmits the keyboard and mouse input from one computer to another, relaying the graphical screen updates over a network. For enabling the VNC session in the Pi, type sudo raspy-config and press Enter. Now the Pi system configuration will open, and from the list click on Interface Options and enable the VNC and Finish. For avoiding some problems during VNC desktop access, change the VNC resolution. For that, click on Display Options and select VNC Resolution. Set the resolution as 1280 x 720 or HD, then press Finish. Now open the VNC Viewer application. Link to download this application is given in description box below. Search for the host name. This will connect the VNC session. Click Connect. Enter the username and password. Yes, that is the end. We successfully managed to VNC into the Raspberry Pi. Now you can use the Pi as you like. If you found this video useful, please consider liking and subscribing to this channel. More information about microcontrollers, single board computers, robotic operating systems, and other topics will be added gradually. Please also press the bell icon so that you will be up to date. Until the next video, take care.